All right, so hey, I wanted to address something here um, that I get a lot, especially when people come to me for the first time asking questions or just getting into this business, and they will say something along the lines of, hey, this is something I'm really passionate about. I feel like it's my calling. I've been called to do it. This is exactly who I am and what I should be doing. Uh, something to that effect. And I get this so much, and I will tell you with um, near certainty what ends up happening to these people is that they fall out of the business. Now, some of these people have been able to hold on for two or three years and be able to run with it and, and work at a minimal level. Some people flame out very quickly, but I think I've started to put my finger on why this type of mentality leads to ruin in this particular business. And I think it comes down to entitlement. So my thought is, if you come into this business or any other business saying, hey, you know, I was just born to be a perfect fit for this role because of my education, my personality, my passion, my interest, whatever, you think you have a leg up on everyone else. And you think that because the pieces fit so well that the, everything will naturally fall into place around it. And you say, hey, some of these people who don't like uh, this job as much have to work to get these pieces Part, uh, to fit in there and they have to work harder and they have to invest more but for me it's just so natural that it'll all work and what ends up happening is that you're not out there pounding the pavement you're not out there and making phone calls in the evening you're not out going to networking events you're not asking people for the sale you're not uh, asking people to pay you before they leave right you're doing all these other things because you think you have a leg up on the competition and the reality is that sense of entitlement makes you lazy on some of the things that need to be done that the other people that don't have that sense of entitlement will do. And so in the end, you're, what, what most people don't realize is you're all on the same level, right? Just because you feel so much more passionate about this particular role does not mean that you are any better at it, right? There are a lot of people who feel passionate about being a, a professional singer or a professional athlete, but that doesn't mean they have any advantage or will have any higher likelihood of doing it. So what you have to do, I think, it's, it's not a problem to think that way, to say, hey, I really like this, I love coaching, I love finance, I wanna be in this, I wanna help people. There's nothing wrong with that. But as soon as you say that it's chosen you because of this perfect fit, that, that the people around you have always encouraged you to do it, all of a sudden you get lazy. You don't work as hard. Uh, you may be saying, hey, I just put up a Facebook page and a YouTube channel and, and uh, people will come to me. And these people end up uh, coming to ruin. Like I said, um, I've seen a number of people like this and for a while it really baffled me because I thought these people were more motivated coming out of the gate than the people who were maybe all on the fence about whether this role was a good fit. Uh, but in the end, all these people ended up moving on. And so it's kind of funny that they said it was a calling, that it was the universe pushing them to this role. And three, four years later, uh, they are in a completely different industry, right? So obviously the calling was not that strong. So don't let that happen to you. Don't let a sense of entitlement, no matter how subtle or subconscious, let you become lazy in this and think that you have an advantage that doesn't exist. That's it.